Welcome back. A quick correction on a story we just read about a woman in Bladensburg who was shot in a road rage incident. We said that it happened this morning. It actually happened yesterday. Moving right along, the art of coding is unfolding in downtown D.C. and three Prince George's girls are in the mix. It is called the Girls Who Code Summer Immersion Program and it's taking place at AT&T, one of the host companies. The seven-week program is aimed at young women who have expressed an interest in the STEM fields. Courtney Jones, you see right here in a couple of seconds. Today there she is, Margo. Since their surroundings. So we have to come up with a few algorithms to make our robots adaptable to, for, for example, running into a wall. We get into a lot of basic computer science core concepts. You know, the first week we started with a programming environment called Scratch. The next week we were working in Python, a very popular programming language. So each week it's a different technology that we're exploring. So this is Robots Week. Women make up 50% of the workforce, but yet I think it's less than uh, 40, less than 30% are in STEM fields. Mm -hmm. And if you look at our economy, if you look at the jobs, you know, 10 years ago, the car companies weren't considered technology companies. And now with connected car and autonomous vehicles, everything is technology. Mm -hmm. And we need to have a pipeline of people in high school and college that are taking the necessary courses. and and engaged and excited about technology. Girls Who Code began in 2012. It is a national nonprofit. This year it's operating in 80 programs in 11 cities.